I don't even know if sad is the word. It was just kind of falling and there's no end to it and it's never gonna get better. I had depression, anxiety. It's beyond just like kind of overthinking. It's like it becomes like an obsession because of like the intrusive thoughts. I began to self-isolate. Then when the pandemic happened, I was laid off from my job and I felt myself just retreating even more and more and more. I was always on the verge of tears. I was fighting against myself because I was super lonely but I didn't want to talk to anyone either. So it just started to crumble like every which way. I think that the hospitalization, it actually doesn't do you a lot of good. The psych ward, it's like their job, they, it's for your own safety. But once you're in there, it's a lot like a prison. You can be punished, restrained, or medicated. You can't leave. It's, it's actually probably puts you a lot of steps back. I've pretty much tried like every type of anti-anxiety, antidepressive, mood stabilizer. My psychiatrist was like, I absolutely will not increase this dosage. And so I was just at such a low point that I was really interested in finding anything that could help. And I saw Nushama and I just immediately thought like, okay, this is something that you should try. Kind of going into it a little bit blind was good because I, I didn't have any expectations. I just like let it happen. Unless you experience it yourself, it's really hard to like put into words because it can kind of feel dreamlike and it can kind of feel like an alternate universe. As time went on, when they would ask me after the journey, like how, how do you feel or what do you remember? I would say like, I don't remember anything. I think it was Dr. Radowitz that said like, maybe that's actually a really good thing because maybe you're like learning to let go and not like ruminate on something endlessly. I would just automatically be on this like path that it was like a tidal wave would just sweep me out, just reliving a moment over and over and over. And afterwards, hey, you kind of have a choice here. Like you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Whatever new pathways had formed in my brain were kind of like, hey, like we're gonna make this easy for you. So after the program and new Shama was completed for me, I noticed that I didn't obsess about as many things as frequently, like, okay, you know, you can breathe a little bit better. When my dad actually saw me around the holidays, pretty much immediately when he saw me, he noticed like a lightness to me. It was more successful than just being in the same monotonous talk therapy. And it was by far more enjoyable than being in a psychiatric ward. As the pandemic is maybe hopefully nearing the end, trying to go outside of that comfort zone a little bit more and hopefully it won't be like so hard.